You know idling is bad for the environment, right? Um, uh, what are you doing here? I was just about to ask you the same question. Last time I checked, you weren't allowed to drive. I'm not driving. I'm selling the car. I'm sorry, you're doing what? I'm selling the car. I even got a buyer and everything. He's on his way to meet me here. Well, tell him to turn around. Why? Cameron, Oscar gave you his car. It was in his will, his final wishes. And now you're just going to unload it? No. It's bad luck. What? Think about it. If I didn't have this car, I wouldn't have been able to get kidnapped by Shiloh, and then Franco wouldn't have to trade places with me, and he'd still be himself, and my mom wouldn't be miserable. I mean, before this car was even given to me, it brought us nothing but trouble. That's not true. We drive up to Niagara Falls, and Oscar gets insanely sick, and a serial killer shows up. I mean, this, this car is a curse, and the best thing I can do is to get rid of it. If Oscar knew what a disaster this car was, he'd be totally fine with me getting rid of it. So you've experienced some pretty crappy stuff. Some. But don't forget all the good luck that this car has brought. You act like the only thing that happened at Niagara Falls was Oscar's seizure. And Ryan Chamberlain, hello. Okay, fine, but I remember us getting stranded at that motel. You and I just sharing a room and laughing and talking the whole night. It felt like for the first time you weren't just Joss's friend. Yeah. You were mine too. I, I, that was a pretty cool night. Right? Hey, is this the car that's for sale? No. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it is. If you guys need to talk it over... No, no, we're good. No, we're not. Just stop. Is the car stolen or something? It belonged to our friend. He died of a brain tumor. Oh, man. I'm sorry. And he left it to Cameron in his will, so you can see it means a lot to us. Yeah. So is it still for sale or not? Are you serious? It's 9,000 for a sedan with only 21,000 miles on it. OMG, you have no heart. I can send you the money right now. Yeah, yeah, just, just give me a second. I'll get the paper. Cool. Sure. So not cool. Just... <sighs> Look what we can do with all the money, OK? I get it, you know. What's happening right now with your family sucks. But getting rid of the car won't fix anything. That'll only make it worse. I just sent you the cash. Accept payment and we're all set. I can't <clears throat> talk to you for a minute. Drew, what, what are you doing here? Mom, you use the tracking app on your phone. Who are you? This is the guy who's about to buy my car. You're selling the car. Like, I know hey, Oscar hey, wouldn't hey, need to have hey, this. Hey, you can't sell the car, and this has nothing to do with Oscar, OK? It just trust me on this. Dude, do we have a deal or not? Yeah, sorry, no sale. You've got to be kidding me. You can leave. Thanks for wasting my time. Thanks for leaving. That guy was about to give me $9,000. What is going on? Son, listen to me. I, I think. Something is in your car that belongs to somebody else. I need to take a look. Big. Yeah, and impossible. I cleaned this thing out when I decided to sell it. There's nothing in there. Just let me have a shot. Do you mind? Can yeah. I take a look? Go ahead. OK, thanks. Sorry, guys. Uh, tell you what, you want to sell the car that bad? If I can't find it, I'll give you the money, all right? Um, what the hell is that? That was totally and completely insane. Uh, yeah, a million dollars. A million and a half. Okay, whatever. It was in my car the entire time. Oh, so it's your car again? I guess I should have listened to you. Duh. Yeah, maybe this car just has some good luck after all. Yeah, ten figures worth. Not that you're going to see any of it. <laughs> see, that's why you need to keep me around. Next time, I'll demand you get your cut. Sounds good.